Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be creating a relief from a photograph. Now this is going to create a face and we call this the face wizard. Now you can access this in one of two ways. When you start up ArtCam Insignia you will have under other features down on the left hand side a face wizard icon and a button to press there or you can select the toolbox and we also have face wizard there so what I'm going to do is just select face wizard here and you'll see on the right hand side it opens up the toolbox now let me just show you if I happen to lose that toolbox I can just get that back by right clicking on any of the grey area to the sides not the darker grey in the middle but the grey area to the sides or the top right click on there and you get all of these options to show if you come down to toolbox and then just left click on that and it will bring the face wizard back so for step one what we need to do is open up a photograph so if we click here to open photo and I'm going to come up to my face wizard folder and select my female head and I'm going to click open now that will go on to step two and it will open ArtCamp Insignia properly so you can see that it's opened up this face for me of this lady and I'm just going to click here to create polyline here you can see it opens up the polyline tool and I can either click there or I can select here to create smooth polylines and what I'm going to do is just quickly trace around the edge of this lady's face so if I just quickly go around here now you're going to do this a lot better than what I'm doing at the moment you're going to take a lot longer doing this and be a lot more precise So I'll just do this quite roughly around the head. I'm not too fussed about that really. Now if I wanted to switch from smooth polylines to jagged polylines, just turn off the smooth polylines and then they will go to being jagged polylines as you can see there. I can turn it back on. Just need to press S on the keyboard to switch between these. And then just join that up. Now if I right click, that should have created a closed polyline. And if you do happen not to close that up, you can close the vector here by moving the ends or by inserting a curve or a straight line. So once that's done, if we click next, what this is asking you to do now is to specify where the centre front of the eyebrow is and where the nape of the neck is. So the way to do this is either select here and then this will give you a crosshair to select the point or you could just select both points and it will allow you to select both of the points on the screen. So there you can see I've got a blue box here and a green box here specifying both of the points. Click next and this allows you to set up your model dimensions. So let's say my model is going to be 150 and I'm going to change the height of my lady's face to let's say 135 millimeters and then I'm going to click next and this will generate the relief for me from the photograph so if I rotate this around you can see that it's generated this relief for me now as you can see it's a little bit rough at the moment so what we need to do is to 
smooth this out. So the first thing that we're going to do is do a smoothing over the whole of the relief. So if we click up here for smooth relief and just move this out of the way so you can see. This needs to be done over the whole of the relief and we're going to do four passes and then click apply and you'll see that it will do four smoothing passes over the whole of the relief. So there you can see that that's smoothed that out but it still looks a little bit rough so if I cancel that here you can see it's already opened up the smoothing tool for me. Now if I was to lose that the smoothing tool is just located here and it's the exact same dialog box. So I'm going to change the radius let's make this a little bit larger let's say about 70 and the strength I'm going to bring this down to around about 40. Now if I turn on my zero plane which is here so draw zero plane you can see that that's drawn a zero plane for me. Now if you take a look at the mask for the smoothing it says colour excluding colour which is this yellow colour so I want to leave that as it is because I don't want to start smoothing into this yellow colour because it would give me radii on the edges of the face. So what I'm going to start doing is just start smoothing out this lady's skin so she looks a lot better. So I'm just going to start smoothing it out. Make sure that I do quite a bit on the high spots. Let's just smooth out that crease that she's got there. Let's smooth out that little scar. So I'm just hovering over with the left mouse button and just moving locally the areas that need it. And there you can see my finished face. Now if I close that, that will close the face wizard. Now what we need to do is to machine this. Now if you switch from the material to colour shade you can see it switches the material and the colour shade. So those are the two icons to switch back to the colour shade. So we're going to quickly machine this now. If we select tool pass from the project tree on the right hand side, here you can see on the bottom right it opens up all of the tool paths available to ArtCam Insignia. And we're going to create a machine relief tool path so just select that. That will open up a new dialog box here. And we're going to do this over the whole of the relief for the area to machine. For the finishing options, if you just click to select there, that opens up the tool database. And we're going to choose a 1.5mm ball nose cutter. So select that there. I'm going to leave the tool clearance strategy as raster. So it's going to come across in X and then step over in Y and then come back across in X. Angle is fine at 0 degrees. The tolerance is fine, 0 0.01, and the allowance is fine at 0. I don't want to leave any material on this. For the roughing options, I'm going to use a 12mm end mill, and I'll leave the tolerance set to 0 0.04 with, with the raster set as the clearance strategy. The allowance by default is 0.5 so it's going to leave 0.5 finished stock on this part for the finishing machining. If I just open up the end mill 12mm parameters by selecting anywhere along this bar here or the arrow, what I can do is I want to change the step down of this. So I want to change the step down to 2.5mm cuts and then I'm going to close that back up. Now if I open up the Z slices you can see that it's automatically worked out the number of slices that need to be cut for this particular part. So there are seven slices that need to be cut. I'm not going to add leading moves but I am going to set the safe Z and home Z. So I'm going to open that up and set the safe Z and home Z to 10. I'm going to click to define the material and I'm going to set 
the material Z0 to the top and I'm also going to set the model positioning material to the top and I'm going to set the thickness of this to 18 millimeters and then click OK. So there you can see that that's set up my material block. Now I'm going to click calculate now. This will calculate the area clearance, so the roughing toolpath, and then finally calculating the finishing toolpath. So there you can see all of the toolpaths in red. I can close the machine relief now by clicking here. If I didn't wish to see the toolpaths, I can just select there on the light bulb, and there you can see toggles the visibility on or off. If I wish to see just one of those toolpaths, click on the plus sign next to the toolpath so it opens up that tree. I could do the same for the machine relief so it opens up that tree. And then let's turn on the light bulb for the roughing and it will just show the roughing toolpath. Now if I wanted to see a simulation of this so it gives me a representation of what's going to be sent to the machine. I can right click on toolpaths and click simulate all toolpaths. Here you can see because I've got the color shade on it's giving me a preview of the actual image so I can just click here and it will go back to the actual material So there you can see the machine's head. Turn the colour shade back on if I wished so I could see what it looks like. And finally, I'm going to save the toolpaths. So the way that we do that is to select toolpaths and then select here for save toolpaths. Now, as you can see, I've got two toolpaths on the right hand side to save. Now if I wish to save these as one toolpath all in one go I can just do that by selecting the post processor and save but what I want to do is to save each of these separately into individual G code to send to the machine. So I can do that by selecting here to save toolpaths to separate files. Now I'm going to change that to face so change the file name to face and then click browse and I'm going to browse to my desktop. So here you can see that this is going to save this to my desktop with a file name called face. The machine file format is actually the post processor so if I click on that you can see lots of post processors available to ArtCam. There are well over 200 posts available within here and I'm just going to save this as a generic G code post and click save. So what this has done is saved two files ready to be sent to my machine.